This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. In this video, I'll walk you through how to increase your website traffic by using Google Search Console, and we'll cover 11 tips so you can get up and running quickly. Now, this works really well if you already have a website that you've created content and the content has been out there for at least a few months to maybe even a year or longer. This is perfect for you. If you're just starting out, then you'll definitely want to take some notes, but it'll be more impactful once you already have a site that Google has been ranking and indexing. You'll also want to make sure that you already have Google Search Console installed on your website or integrated with your website. If you don't already have that, then make sure you watch this video where I walk you through step by step on how to get up and running with Search Console, Google Search Console on your website. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So real quick, we'll cover what is Google Search Console. Well, it used to be called Google Webmasters Tool, and it's simply a free tool that Google provides to let you know how your site is viewed by Google. So how is it being indexed? Where does your site rank in Google's search results for different keywords and your different pages and things like that. So it's a great feature to know how your website is doing in the eyes of Google. It also does some technical things on the crawl index, some issues that it might see with your website. And there's also some items coming out like the speed performance tools that are coming out. And we're not going to cover the technical side of those items today. We're simply going to focus on the content and how your articles and your content on your website is doing with Google. Let's look at the different ways that you can use Google Search Console to help with your content. One of the easiest ways you can see the integration with Google Search Console is by having Monster Insights installed. Monster Insights is the perfect way to connect Google Analytics with your website as well as Google Search Console. And you can get started by going over to Insights if you have it installed and we'll go to Reports. Under reports, you have the different areas up here and Search Console is one of the reports that's pulling in from Google Search Console to make it easier for you to see. And right here, you're seeing the top 50 search terms, Google search terms that your site is ranking for. Out of the box, it defaults to the last 30 days and it'll show you the clicks, the impressions and the click through rate, as well as the average position that your website is ranking in Google. So tip number one on improving your traffic is just by improving the click through rate of these search terms. So you want to go through, look at the terms that your site is coming up for and see what the click through rate is. Anytime you can increase the click through rate, that means that there are going to be more people who are clicking on your website. One of the easiest ways to improve the click through rate on your keyword terms is by improving the post or the article. For instance, look at the title of your article. Is there a way that you can improve that that makes it more enticing for people to click on it? Can you add power words? OptiMonster has an article, a great article on 700 plus power words that you can use that you can use on your website. Pick some of these words to add to the title that really entices people to click on it. Conversely, you should also have something like Yoast SEO plugin installed on your site. So scroll down to that area, edit the snippet to make people more interested in that. For instance, this is the what the result of this post will look like if somebody searches for it. And then this is the meta description. We don't have a meta description, so you'll want to add that meta description that makes it enticing for people to click on it as well. So that's inviting them, telling them a little bit of a sneak peek on what the article is about. Will it help them in what they're looking for? and things like that. So keep your meta description engaging for the readers. So those are a few ways that you can improve to increase the click through rate of your website. So we already looked at the click through rate and tip number two is looking at the keywords themselves, finding ways to increase their position in Google search results. The best way to do that is we're going to your Google search console. You want to go to performance. And this is what we have. So let's go ahead and click on average position so we can see this in the results down here. And we want to filter on any keyword that is higher than position seven. So for instance, these are the position in Google results that this keyword is. So anything that's seven or higher means that it's at the middle to the bottom of the first page or then on the top or the middle of the second page. If you want to focus on any of those that are seven or higher, maybe between position seven through 20, because it's the bottom of the first page, anywhere on the second page, 
And that means Google is looking at it and saying, okay, this isn't bad, it, but there's certain things that maybe you can do to make it better that will boost it up and help it get on the first page. So we come up here under queries, we want to do a little filter search and we want to say anything in position is higher than seven and then do that. And ideally you're looking at the ones that are between say seven and 20, anything past that, you're probably going to have to completely rewrite that or really look at the content, but anywhere on the first and second page, it's kind of right there. You just need to maybe add a little bit more content. Are there some content gaps that maybe your competitors have written about? And I don't mean copy. I mean, there's areas in that content that they've written more about than maybe you did that there's a gap in there that you could add to make it a little fulfilling and make it more useful for your reader. So find the keyword that's seven between seven and 20, and then look at the page that that's ranking on by clicking on pages. This is the one that's ranking on. So then you want to edit that page to really improve that position. So your, your goal is to improve the location of this by adding content. Have you written enough about it? Is the readability good enough for it? Check out everything on the on page of that. And we have a video on on page SEO and how to improve that. Tip number three is to find new content ideas. This is kind of an interesting one because basically you're going to go through here and you're going to find the content that your website is ranking for. And then you want to like, what type of content is your website ranking for? Do you have a lot of tips pages or a lot of listicles or how to's that your website's ranking a lot for? Find those nuggets that are ranking highly and then create more content like that. The other cool thing about doing this is seeing what are your top rated pages or ranking pages and repurpose that content. There's nothing that says that you can't take that content that's doing really well on your website and creating something else for it. Say a Facebook post or a Twitter thread. You could even do a YouTube video, which is probably one of my favorites. I'm a little biased, but it's one of my favorites, but basically take your top performing content, repurpose it and get it out there in a different channel. And that will help bring traffic to your website. Tip number four is to identify new keyword opportunities. A lot of times if you click on a page, so we're going to go to pages and I've clicked on my home page, but this will work for a, an article page and you go to queries and say you scroll through there and there's a keyword that's not quite related to the article, but it's similar. You can take that keyword because you're ranking for it. Google has said they think that your site might be related to this. So take that keyword and create a whole new article about that link to it from here and with that in the anchor text and then see if you can actually rank that page for it. So you're finding new content ideas using Google search console to create more content for your website. Tip number five is to complete the funnel. So looking at your queries, if you have a lot of how to, or have a lot of informational queries that your website is ranking for, that's perfect. The next thing you want to do is get more into transactional queries or investigational queries. This is bringing people who are closer to a buying phase. And this is perfect whether you're doing affiliate marketing for your website, or if you're doing lead gen sales for your website or anything like that, you want to get these queries where people are closer to buying. And you can even check out this video where we go a little bit more into detail on how to do that. But, your goal is to now write content that's more like the best of, or you're doing a comparison of best X versus Y because people are, they've narrowed down their decision-making process to two items and they just need that final comparison of which one to buy. And you're going to help them with that. So add more transactional and investigational content to your website to improve affiliate sales. If you're in that, product sales if you're doing e-commerce or lead gen sales if you're a business with quote forms on your website and you're increasing your lead generation. Number six is using the 80-20 rule to focus on the countries that produce results for you. And what do I mean by that? Is there are certain countries that the traffic that they're producing isn't going to bring you revenue? And that's whether you're an ad network, there are certain ad networks that there are certain countries that they're not going to approve you for just because the traffic isn't as valuable as others. 
The same for there are certain countries that might not be purchasing your items from their country simply because it's too expensive or what have you. To do that, you can go to your analytics. We'll go to acquisition, search console, and we can go to countries. So if you have this set up, then you'll want to go into your countries and see who are your top performing countries. And that's especially helpful if you have it tied to revenue. Number seven is you want to optimize for mobile keywords. And that just means that Google now crawls your site with mobile intent first. And so you want to make sure that your website is set up for the mobile users. And that's simply because mobile search has overtaken desktop search. So you want to make sure that your site is set up for mobile coverage. Number eight is you can increase your traffic by improving your internal linking. And the best way you can look at this is by going over to the side and look for links and it has it set up between external links. So backlinks that you're getting from other websites. And then also will tell you about your internal linking structure. And this is important by basically letting Google and anyone else know how your website is structured. What are your most popular pages? So basically if you have multiple links to one page, ideally that means that that's a very important page and that should also improve your traffic and Google search results. If you think about your website like a brick and mortar or a store in a town, the store that is set up in the middle of the town with multiple roads going to it is going to get a lot more foot traffic because there are more roads pointing to that store and people find it easier. Conversely, if the store is out in rural area in the country and there's only one road that gets to it, then the traffic isn't going to be as high. And you can think about that the same with links to your website as the same way. You want to have as many roads pointing to all of your different pages as you can and internal linking helps with that. So you want to take a look at your top link pages. Make sure that there aren't any that are not getting any love. See like down here we have several who are there's only eight or nine and if those are really important pages then we want to increase the number of links. Number nine is to find backlink opportunities. So just like internal linking, if we go back to links, we have external links and these are backlinks from other people. So you'll want to find interesting ways to find people who are linking to other articles of your site, maybe reach out to them. You have a higher chance of getting another link to another article. That's also important for your website because they've already linked to another one. So you can look at this report to find your top external links and reach out to them and contact them and ask them for another link. Now, number 10 is, I'll have to show you this because I don't have a e-commerce set up, but if you have an e-commerce store, then you'll want to find products to show as product rich snippets. And what that means is you see if somebody's searching for something, they usually see a rating and possibly a price if that's coming in and the votes and stuff like that. And these are rich snippets that you can add if you have an e-commerce site. Most e-commerce plugins like WooCommerce will automatically bring those in. And if Google picks it up, because it's not guaranteed that you add the snippets, the rich snippets that Google will pick it up. But if Google picks it up, it has a higher chance of ranking and clicking on it because people see the ratings and it's more enticing to them to click on those items. So that's another way to improve, especially if you have e-commerce. And then tip number 11 is to monitor and make changes as needed. So it's, it's not going to be a once and done thing. This is something that you'll want to do over several months and maybe add it to your to-do list on a monthly or quarterly calendar event. So all the tips that I've showed you, you're probably asking, well, how long do I wait to see the results? So definitely want to give yourself a little bit of time, at least 10 to 14 days, ideally a little bit longer to see how the results are doing for your site and then make adjustments. Anything that improved, do more of that. Anything that didn't improve or decreased in rankings, do less of that. And then add this to your calendar as a monthly or a quarterly thing that you do that you're just constantly improving the content for your readers. And then as we went through this, you noticed that Monster Insights is one of the easiest ways to see a lot of this data as well. Get started, just head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use WPB VIP to get the best discount on Monster Insights. Let me know in the comments below, which tip are you going to work on this weekend to improve traffic to your website? And thanks for watching.